Hi guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I treat my seasonal allergy slash hay fever naturally. I have gotten down to a routine of things that I do to help my allergies and the symptoms heal or get better. So I, I have really terrible seasonal allergies and um, when right around April and into May, they get really serious and terribly bad. I get really bad symptoms like congestion, um, itchy eyes, runny nose, dry throat. Yeah. Um, and so really just, I feel pretty terrible and run down and um, allergies can just make you feel like you have a really, really bad cold. So anyway, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys what my my routine is of how I deal with my allergies and how I, and what routine I've found that has worked the best for me and I hope it will help you guys too. So let's, get, so let's jump right in. So for those of you who don't wanna hear me ramble on about um, you know allergies and the immune system and how that works and how it's all working together in the you know in introduction to this video then I will put chapters down here for you so that you can skip ahead and see like my main routine and so that'll help you so you don't if you don't want to stay for the whole video then I will make sure that that's helpful for you so just want to let you guys know that but let's go ahead and let's get started here So yeah, anyway, I've had terrible allergies for years and years and so, and this year I've actually found a routine of things um, that really have worked just these past few weeks and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's worked and I hope this will help somebody else out there. But um, I did try for a while, I tried just one, you know, natural thing, I tried steam nettle leaf. Um, capsules and I try that and that seemed to work a little bit especially while I was pregnant I was like no I'm not going to take Claritin because for a while when I was working before I was married um, I was taking Claritin on a regular basis because it helped and I was able to function like a normal person um, at work and so that helped but I knew it wasn't good for me and so I decided to go all natural route after I got pregnant with my son and I had terrible allergies when I was pregnant with him and I was like okay this I, I can't live like this you know I can't go outside because the my symptoms worsen if I'm out there and the pollen and all the stuff blowing around and so I finally was just like no I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look for something natural that works so I tried the stinging nettle leaf capsules and those do tend to work but they didn't help all my symptoms disappear and they'd only help for a little while so, um, but I did take that while I was pregnant with him and then I did take it when I was pregnant with my daughter too. And those help some and I would definitely encourage you if you don't have super bad allergies to try it out. But what I try, what I have found so far this year especially that has helped me the most is a routine of different um, remedies and herbs and things like that that I take um, every day. And that helps my immune system um, work to fight off all the allergic reactions I have to certain pollen or whatever is blown around in the wind. So um, that's kind of what I found is if you focus on your immune system to try to get that healthier and working better, it will also help your allergies work, um, your allergies lessen. So anyway, that's, that's something I've found that works too. But also, you know, it's not just about your immune system. It's also about you know, this pollen floating all around that's really bothering you. Point is, is you need your immune system working well in order to fight off all the allergens and all the nasty stuff floating around that's going up your nose or that you're just having a relax, a, a, an allergic reaction to. And so helping focus on your immune system is really going to help your allergies symptoms subside. So anyway, and yeah, it, re it works really well. This routine that I've started, it really seems to have helped me a lot. And I mean, if I'm outside like for a full long day, like tw like 12 hour day or something, then I'm gonna start to get a little bit of um, sniffles and stuff. But that's because I've been outside a lot and, um, but it does seem to take the symptoms down to a minimal where I can actually function if 
I am outside for a long time. And so when I come in, it's not as bad. And um, so anyways, um, routine has really helped me and I hope that it helps somebody out there too. But let's go ahead and let's get right into it. All right, so one of the first things I do in this routine of allergy relief <laughs> um, is I take I use stinging nettle leaf tea. You can get this on Amazon. You can get this on bulk apothecary sites. You can get this on, I think I said Amazon already, but you can also get this on Azure Standard, um, which is a co-op that I buy from. And so anyway, but you can get, you can get stinging nettle leaf tea in many different online sites, stores, pretty much anywhere there, where there's natural herbs, you will probably find now what I use is I use a big bulk bag of stinging nettle leaf tea and that's loose tea in there so it's not in like separate individual tea bags it's just in a bulk bag that you can scoop the herbs out of and then pour in a bowl or a, or a cup and so that's what I use that's what I would recommend I don't know I mean I'm assuming that like regular stinging nettle leaf tea that you get at the store as long as there's nothing added and that they it's organic and well processed processed well and naturally that it would work too but um this is just what i use and that's what's worked for me so i would totally recommend just doing it that way um i'm not sure what would if it would work the other way anyway so yeah so what i do in the morning is i take that tea and i will put it in a glass jar um, i usually use a quart jar and I pour that in and I use normally a tablespoon and a half depending. I don't normally measure it out, but I am for the face. For the sake of this video, I am measuring out for you guys. It's about a tablespoon and a half, sometimes less, sometimes more. It just depends on, yeah, anyway, I, I don't normally measure it that well. But anyway, it's about a tablespoon and a half and I pour that in there and then while, uh, and then I also am boiling water while I'm doing that. And so um, I, I try to get the water to at least almost boiling point. I don't usually try to get it to the boiling point because you don't really have to do that. Um, I just get it really, really, really hot. And so, um, but boi boiling the water is fine too. You do whatever you want to do. Uh, just make sure it's not cold or warm. Make sure it's hot so it'll actually, you know, make the tea, it'll actually steep. And so after the water's been boiled or almost boiled, you're gonna go ahead and pour that hot water in there. And I usually you fill it up about all the way to the top, almost all the way to the top. And then I take a bowl or something, like what I'm doing here is I'm using a wooden bowl. But I use a wooden bowl and I put that over the top of the glass jar and I let that steep for a good hour or more. I would say the least amount of time that you can steep this for a good result is an hour or more. So some, what I like to do is like two or three hours and it just really gives it a better time frame the longer you go for it to really make the tea well and get all the nutrients out of the leaves as possible. Um, so that's what I like to do there. Uh, but I definitely would say no more, I mean no less than an hour. Um, I would definitely make sure you steep it for that long. And then, um, you know, steep it for as long as it will. I mean, you could even do it overnight if you wish. Um, I don't do that because I don't have the time to do that. Hi, baby. Come here. And so I just tend to do it like in like two hours, three hours and let it steep then. And so that's perfectly fine. Anyway, I also forgot to mention that when the when I'm making the tea, what I like to do is take a good like tablespoon of raw local honey make sure it's local if at all possible because locally that's what you're having the issue with and honeybees uh, or raw honey sorry has been known to help with allergies um, and it's one of the best natural remedies out there and so this is a crucial natural allergy remedy and i would totally encourage you very much highly recommend you get some raw local honey uh, we get it from my in-laws and so it's been so nice and it really does help guys so um i do a good tablespoon and i put that in with the tea and i mix that around and then once it's dis dissolved off the spoon i go ahead and then i steep the tea so i just i kind of steep it with the honey and that seemed to really work and also a good thing i don't do this in my routine but a good thing to just a rule of thumb is take as much honey as you possibly well not as possibly you can but like 
anywhere from one tablespoon to two tablespoons a day will help you um, combat your allergies. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I totally spaced it. So now that I have the tea steeping, I go ahead and what I do next is I take half a lemon and then I, I take that and I squeeze it in a jar or glass or whatever. A regular glass, you don't have to get this very full. And then what I like to do is I squeeze that all that half lemon juice in that cup and then I go and I take, oh, about a good splash of apple cider vinegar, maybe a little more than a splash, and I just kind of pour it in there. Um, not too much, you don't want to overdo it, um, but I just do enough to kind of do a splash, I guess. I don't know. I, it's not a real measurement, guys. Sorry. It's probably about a capful. Um, like, yeah, it's about a capful. Anyway, so I do that and I mix them together. I put a little stevia in here just because lemon and apple cider vinegar have a really strong taste and so it just kind of helps with me drinking it. So anyway, I put that in there and then I also add water. Um, I don't necessarily fill it up all the way all the time, sometimes half, sometimes full, just depends, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you can fill the glass all the way up for a more diluted taste or you can just do, you know, a very concentrated taste and just guzzle it down. But that's what I do. I mix it together and then I drink that. That is the first thing I actually take um, internally for my allergies is lemon and apple cider vinegar. And that really does help. There's a lot of scientific info I could probably give you why this works, but lemon has a lot of a good source of vitamin C, which also helps your immune system. And so does apple cider vinegar. And apple cider vinegar has other um, good properties that help with your immune system. So those two work together to make a really good, healthy immune system um, booster. So anyway, that's what I do there. So the next thing I do in my routine for fighting my allergies is after I've drank the um, lemon and apple cider vinegar drink, I take anywhere from two to four capsules of stinging nettle leaf. And um, you can buy these uh, where I've got mine is Vitacost, which I will also link in the description. I will link in the description down below for you. They have great, um, oh, they have great, they're a great site to get um, vitamins and herbs and stuff from. Um, they have pretty much all their vitamins and minerals and stuff is at cost. So it's actually a lot cheaper and it's more like Amazon prices um, and sometimes cheaper than that. So I would totally encourage you to go check them out. But um, yeah, so it's Vitacost is where I got my stinging little nettle leaf capsules from. And I take anywhere from two to four capsules a day. And that depends. Like if I'm feeling really congested and pretty awful, then I will normally take more of them. Um, but if I'm just having a regular day where I feel pretty good, I will just take two. And that just another thing, stinging nettle leaf. Let's just talk about stinging nettle leaf for a minute. Stinging nettle leaf is super, super good and super helpful for allergies. It's one of the main leading herbs that helps you maintain your allergies. And it also boosts your immune system. The stinging nettle leaf herb actually has a natural antihistamine body to it. So it has natural antihistamines in there. And so that's why it helps so many people with their allergies. It's a, it's a natural antihistamine. And so super great. It's not like super concentrated like you would, you know, buy it as like Claritin or Zyrtec or whatever, but it helps and it's super great for you. And it, and then guess what? It helps your immune system. So what better thing to take than that? Anyway, so yeah, that's what I take two, anywhere from two to four of those a day. And then the next thing I like to take is actually a vitamin C. I also got my, we also get our vitamin C at Vitacost and it's very well, um, I'm not sure how much it was, but really good price. Um, and I use the one that has rose hips in it and I use the 1000 mg kind. Um, it just has, it's better, it, you, your body absorbs it better. I found if I have a higher dose and so um, a vitamin C per pill and so I just take one of those a day and um, that also helps vitamin C really helps boost your immune system and that therefore it will help with all the allergens around you and it'll help your immune system fight those off and so after I've taken the pills um, and the drink I usually have to wait obviously um, a couple hours before the tea is done and so when I do that oh and also I wanted to mention while I'm taking all this, 
I take the um, I take the drink, the lemon and apple cider vinegar drink. I take that on an empty stomach, and um, a lot of people just say that that's a good idea to do. Um, it kind of helps clean your system out, and um, it just it really helps in the morning for some reason. I'm trying to remember the exact reason why, but um, look it up. You. you most people tell you why lemon is a good idea in the morning, but it does help clean your system out and just kind of get ready for your day. Um, and so anyway, I just kind of wanted to mention that I do um, take all that on an empty stomach. The pills you don't have to take on an empty stomach, um, but I do the drink. So. And so yeah, after I've taken pills and the drink, and then after a couple hours, the tea is done and I strain that out. Um, what I'm using here is a little, um, tea strainer. I don't know what to call it essentially, but it comes from a little teacup that my father-in-law got me when he was um, in a different country. Don't quote me on what country that was. I don't remember. Um, and so, but anyway, he um, got this for me and it's just, uh, you can strain tea leaves through it. And so um, I use that to catch all the tea leaves. Um, and so it doesn't, so I'm not drinking tea leaves because I don't really want to. And so what I do there is I just strain that into another jar. And then once that's done, what I like to do is I like to put peppermint essential oil in my tea. Normally you only need like one drop because it's super strong. And then I take some of that if it's really bad. And you don't have to do this in your tea. You can do this um, pretty much any time. Peppermint is just a really good like it helps kind of mask your symptoms. And so it really helps if you're in a really bad situation and you're outside and you're trying to do something or if you're at a funeral or um, a party or whatever occasion it may be and you're like sniffing and crying and or blowing your nose and all this stuff and you really need something that's just quick and it helps reduce your symptoms, I would use this peppermint oil. And what I like to do is I put like, a, like one drop on my finger or less and then I put it on the roof of my mouth and on my tongue. And then sometimes you can put it like even under your nose, um, but that kind of can burn sometimes. And then you just drink um, maybe some water with it because it, it can be kind of taste kind of up. Um, but that's what I do. I just put some peppermint essential oil in my mouth and on the roof of my mouth, mouth. And um, that really helps alleviate the symptoms. And so, and essential oil, and peppermint essential oil is really good for you too. So just make sure it's, food grade. Um, not all essential oils can be um, taken internally. So just a disclaimer there. But um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I take. Um, the peppermint oil really does, like I said, help reduce the symptoms like almost immediately. It just kind of helps a lot. Um, and so yeah, and so that's what I do. And then I just drink my tea and I'm done for the rest of the day. And um, sometimes you can take your tea throughout the day, but what I like to do is I like to drink it within an hour. And so it's in my system, it's done, and it can do its job. So yeah, that's that, you guys, right there is my routine to help alleviate my symptoms of my allergies, and it helps boost my immune system. And so boosting your immune system, like I said before, is gonna help you fight off those allergens and things that are attacking your system. So this is essentially how I've been able to alleviate all the terrible, nasty um, symptoms of having really bad allergies and hay fever. So um, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope this was helpful to some of you um, because I know for years I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, I feel like the only thing I can take is Claritin and all these other things that really aren't good for my body, but they're the only thing that works. And for the longest time, I was like, I got to just get down, study, and figure out how people do it naturally. And so I did and I finally found it, guys. Obviously it's not foolproof. Everybody's different, everyone's bodies are different, the way our immune systems work. Um, but this has really helped me, so I would definitely encourage you that, um, especially if you have a low immune system or um, have some problems with your immune system, really just focus on boosting that and that's also gonna really help you in the end with your immune system, uh, with fighting off these symptoms so and so before I finish this video I want to make sure you guys know this um, this is an important step and making sure you're not like and making sure you don't give up on natural remedies so natural remedies take a good like month or less sometimes more sometimes less 
um, to work. You have to be taking these every day for several weeks for them to finally start working. That's just how it works. Um, it's not instant, like uh, over-the-counter ah. stuff. Oh, it's okay. And so you gotta take your time and build up your immune system and start taking these all the time. So um, just make sure you don't give up all automatically when you start taking this stuff because it's not gonna work automatically. You gotta take your time. The stinging nettle leaf tea did work fairly fast. Um, it helped alleviate it um, even like a week into it. And um, it'll always help a little bit. It's just when you're outside doing stuff, it may not mask your symptoms enough to make it last longer. So, but yeah, I would encourage you to just try this for a month or more. Um, and then if it's getting on like two months and it's not working, then I would look into something else. But um, that's kind of what it took for me. And it just took like three weeks to a month for me to get this um, down. And then it was already helping me so much. Um, there's also other things you can look into like acupressure. And um, that really does help. There's points on your feet and hands that can help alleviate your symptoms. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is do lots of cold stuff when you're really miserable. Some good point, good tips for um, alleviating symptoms when you're in the moment, in the heat of the moment and you're just miserable is do a lot of like popsicles um, or cold ice cream as much as that's not good for you. Um, try getting a healthy kind or just something cold to suck on. Um, I do like to use fruit pops or like um, something like that to just suck on and that really, really, really does help. Um, and that kind of, obviously this isn't a thing that lasts for a long time, but it, in the heat of the moment when you're super miserable, it really does help alleviate the symptoms. And so that, a cold wet rag on your face, though it may dry out your skin, it really does help alleviate some of that nasty stuff. Um, and all those symptoms kind of help it. At night, I really like to take a rag with me when I'm really bad off and it really helps me sleep better. Um, and then peppermint essential oil, diffuse that in, if, it, if you have a diffuser, I would diffuse that in your house. That will help you breathe better. And um, then another thing is just nice ice cold water helps too. Um, and so yeah, those are some really good like you're really miserable and you just need something that kind of helps that in that moment those are really good for you know natural stuff that you can kind of take and um, it'll help like I said alleviate it not not take it away completely but it'll help you get through get through the day um, so anyway those are my tips that's my routine I hope this was helpful for some of you guys I will make sure to link as much as I can in the description below of all the products I talked about um, just so you guys can kind of see what I get. And then um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to answer them the best I can. I'm not a health professional, I'm not a naturopath. I'm, you know, I'm not an allergy specialist or anything, but this is just what's worked for me. So I hope that it's helped you somehow. But yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will answer them the best I can. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And consider subscribing for more content like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Say bye bye! Can Kylie say bye bye? Bye bye! Bye bye!